Children's Week is a world event that occurs around the end of April and the beginning of May that lasts for a week. There are a total of seven achievements for this event, six of which are required for For the Children, which rewards the player with the title Patron and also counts towards the completion of What a Long Strange Trip It's Been. This guide will show you the easiest and quickest way to get each achievement for Children's Week. To begin, head to Stormwind of your alliance and pick up the starting quest from Orphan Matron Nightingale in Cathedral Square. See you around. If you're Horde, head to Orgrimmar and pick up the quest from Orphan Matron Battle Whale in the Valley of Honor. These quests give you an Orphan Whistle that you must use to summon your Orphan. For the first achievement, Aw, Isn't It Cute, you will need to complete one of the Orphan quest lines during the week that your faction offers. Once you've completed the quest line, you can choose one out of the four possible pets that each Orphan Matron offers. Once you have selected and received your pet, you will receive the achievement. For a full guide on Children's Week pets and how to complete each of the Orphan quests, click here. Now that you have the whistle, summon your Orphan and simply use your Hearthstone to receive the achievement Home Alone. If you want to reduce travel time for future achievements, set your Hearthstone to Dalaran, since this is where the next achievement takes place. For the achievement Bad Example, you must eat seven different food items in front of your Orphan. The items are Tig Yule and Four Ore Strawberry Ice Cream, don't know if that's how you pronounce it, Red Velvet Cupcake, Lovely Cake Slice, Dalaran Donut, Tasty Cupcake, Delicious Chocolate Cake, and a Dalaran Brownie. In Dalaran, head to the bank, and right outside is the NPC, Amy. From her, you can purchase the Red Velvet Cupcake, Lovely Cake, the Dalaran Donut, and the Dalaran Brownie. For the cake slice, place the Lovely Cake on the ground and click it to get a slice. The Tigule and Four Ore Strawberry Ice Cream can be purchased from specific vendors as well. For Alliance, head to Stormwind and purchase one from Lisa McKeever in the Mage Quarter. For Horde, purchase one from the snack o -Matic 4, which are located on the bottom level of the Zeppelins in Orgrimmar. The last two items, Delicious Chocolate Cake and Tasty Cupcake, can be crafted with the cooking profession. However, getting the recipes for these items does take some extra time, so I suggest saving the time and purchasing both these items at the auction house, since there are usually plenty listed during the week and you don't need to cook them yourself for the achievement. Once you have all the food items, eat them in front of your orphan to earn the achievement Bad Example. For the next achievement, head back to Dalaran if you left to purchase the ice cream, and fly to Utgard Pinnacle, which is located in Howling Fjord. The entrance to this dungeon is located on the northern side. The achievement Hail to the King Baby requires you to defeat King Ymiron while your orphan is out. This achievement can be completed on any dungeon difficulty. Daily Chores requires you to complete any five daily quests while you have your orphan out. So if you are currently working on a certain reputation, do the dailies associated with that factions so you can kill two birds with one stone. You do not need to have your orphan out while you work on the dailies, simply summon him when you go to turn the quests in. How may I help? You're sure. The last achievement for Children's Week is the one that causes the most problems for PvE players and tends to piss off every PvP player. To get School of Hard Knocks, you must complete four different objectives in these four PvP battlegrounds. Capture the flag in Eye of the Storm, assault a tower in Alterac Valley, assault a flag in Arathi Basin, and return a fallen flag in Warsong Gulch. In Eye of the Storm, you must capture the flag in the middle of the battleground and bring it back to any of the bases that your team controls. This strategy is not optimal for winning the battleground, however this is the easiest way to get credit for this achievement. When the battle begins, sprint to the middle where the flag is located and try to instantly pick it up. If someone else from your group picks up the flag first, stay at the flag spawn location and get ready to instantly click when the flag respawns.
In a Rothy Basin, you must wait until the opposing team captures one of the locations in order to assault their flag. Check the different locations that are controlled by the opposing team, and more often than not, one of them will either be empty or only have one or two people guarding it. Kill the players and right-click the flag to complete the assault. For Warsong Gulch, stay on defense next to your flag for the entire fight. When an opposing player comes and takes the flag, burn them down and spam click the spot right above their corpse for when the flag spawns to return the flag and get the achievement. If someone returns the flag before you, stay in the base and repeat as necessary. For Alterac Valley, hop on your mount as soon as the fight begins and head towards the opposing team's towers. There are buffs that some players can use to make your mount quicker, so use these buffs if you can. Check where your location is in relation to the other players on your team to determine which tower to head straight for. If you are one of the leaders of the pack, head to any of the first three towers and click on the flag to begin your assault. If you are behind the leaders of the pack, head all the way to the back of the opposing faction's base, where there are two towers you can capture. Make sure that you have your orphan summoned, and make sure that your orphan is also standing right next to you when you begin your assault, because it is possible that you will not get credit for the achievement if you begin the assault while your orphan is not there. In order to fully complete this world event, you will need to complete the orphan quest lines three separate times in order to get the remaining pets and the achievement Veteran Nanny meaning it will take at least three years to get every achievement. However, if you follow this guide, you will have received every achievement necessary for For the Children and what a long strange trip it's been. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, leave a like or a comment, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for future World of Warcraft guides.